Get up. Get up! Is this wedding on live transmission? Yes, sir. Is this wedding on live transmission? Yes, sir. Good. I want you to record every damn thing we're going to do here today, okay? Show them your camera. Yes. Now! Roll tape. You cut only when I say cut, okay? Yes, sir. Roll your camera. Now! Action! Bother your hands! Good day, everybody. Today is a very beautiful day. Say amen! amen. Say amen! amen. The president's daughter is wedding today. What a shabby wedding it is. I know that you all have come here to celebrate with them. But we have come for revenge. We have come for business. So let's get down to the business. But if you get up. Get up! Listen, madam. If it's money, we can sort it out, okay? Shut up. You're not in position to back in with me, okay? So you shut up. Why? Shut up! One more word from you, I'll spill your brains out. Now get up and pull off your clothes at the count of three. One, two, three. No! That woman died because of you. And another will die at the count of three if you don't do as I say. One, two. Now pull your clothes up!
Stop this car right now. Stop it. I said stop the car. 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 Stop the Stop the car. Stop the car. Stop the car. to ask you for a favor. What is it? Just in case they ask who was driving the car, can you say you were the one driving? You want me to shoulder your irresponsibility? What am I supposed to do? My father is practically going to kill me if he finds out I was the one driving. But I want you. I want you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But you have to help me, Morgan. Please, it's just a favor. You have to say that you were the one driving. Else I get into a whole lot of trouble. Please, I beg you. Please. How is he? We lost him. <gasps> Take it easy, okay? Take it easy. And uh, where is Morgan now? Your Excellency, I understand he's still in police custody. Mm. I am disappointed in him. I want him never to let you out after 9 p.m. So tell me, where the hell were you going on that ungodly hour of 1 a.m.? To the club, no doubt. Oh, Dad, Now, will you shut up? got himself drunk and killed an innocent child who happens to be the son of my staunchest enemy in this my administration who will stop at nothing to rub my face in the mud and he stupidly played into his hands look at the newspaper look 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 at the stupid articles Get out of my face. Dad, we just... I say get out of my face! Your Excellency, to me, uh, go ahead. Okay. I'm so afraid. I mean, I don't know what to do. Honestly, I'm so confused. Cynthia, you have to tell your dad. Morgan has sacrificed so much for you that not even a family member can do that. So tell your father or Morgan is going to go to jail. I can't tell him the truth. 
I can't tell my father the truth because he'll be so angry. He'll be extremely upset with me. Besides, he still will not want to get involved or help. My father will never get involved because an opposition party member is involved. Don't forget that the boy who died, his father is a chief judge and his father is an opposition member. My father would rather have me go to jail than beg or get involved in this case. Now, which would you rather? That I go to jail? I mean, I... I want to help, but my hands are tied. I feel so terrible, but... My hands are tied. Why do you have to always sneak in here at night to see me? It's because of my father. He forbids me to come here. He says the atmosphere is tense because of this case. He can't get involved now. So what has he said concerning me? Nothing. Nothing? You haven't told him the truth, have you? I have. Yes, I... I have. And he said nothing? Listen, Cynthia. This case is coming up in court next week. And you and I know I don't stand a chance to be acquitted, except if your father is involved. If not, I'll be going away for more than 15 years for manslaughter, for your sake. Didn't Morgan. You? My father asks that we give him time. He says after six months, he will grant you presidential pardon. I do appreciate this, honestly. And I'm so sorry I put you through all this. Honestly, I am. Presidential pardon. That means I have to go to jail then. I'll be a prisoner until after six months. Exactly. I owe you one. I certainly will make it up to you after six months. I promise I will. Listen, Cynthia. The only reason why I'm going to do this is because I'm a professional. It is my duty to protect you to the very last. Thank you. But I need you to do me a favor. Just mention it. My mom and my fiance. I want them to be taken very good care of while I'm in prison. My mom has this illness that occurs once in a while. It requires constant medical attention. Please, I want her to be taken very good care of. You have my word. I will take very good care of them. Thank you. that you stay for six months. Why are you still here? Why, my love? Yes, I know. But what I don't know is what is happening right now. She's not come here to see me since the day I was taken away from the courtroom. And she's not responded to any of my messages. Here you go again, Morgan. 
I thought I told you I don't like this idea. Did you ever think about me? Did you ever consider me? Do we have to go over this again? I need to get out of here. That's the point. The doctor says she needs to be operated. How much are they asking for? 500,000. How much is left in my account? Almost nothing. Almost nothing, Morgan. I've been using it to take care of her all this month. Cynthia, tell her to take care of my mom's bill if she won't come to see me. I won't. Shut up. Go to Cynthia. Tell her to take care of my mom's bill. And if my mom dies, I will find my way out of this place. And she knows what that means. Take her. Give her this note. If she reads it, she will understand. This is too much. This is too much for me to do. It's too much for me to do, Morgan. Uh, excuse me, mom. Um, a lady. A lady. Yes, ma'am. What's her name? She said her name is Kate. Kate. Yes, ma'am. Kate. I don't want to go like that. Let's see. <gasps> Madam, are you okay? Madam, is everything okay? Yes, yes, I, I, I'm, I'm fine. Are you sure you're alright? Get into the car, I'm fine. Yes, I Such thing. You leave me no choice. I need to get out of here. Look at me. I'm suffering, can't you see? Do I look good before you? Do you like my condition? It's been one year since I came into this place, and your dad is not doing something about setting me free. My father is doing everything he can. The chief judge is your problem. My problem? He's the reason you're still in prison. He wants you here. That's not true. I know His Excellency is not Carlos. I believe something is fishy about this whole situation. There is nothing fishy anywhere, Morgan. Okay. I must say I'm sincerely sorry for the amount of time you spent in prison. And for that reason, efforts we put in place to get you out of here. You will leave this place. I've already told you. One month, and I'll just tell the truth and free myself. Morgan, it certainly will not get to that.
kill him. No mistakes. Just kill him. as a shock. That is why my husband is in this hospital. What is wrong with you? I am not also aware of it. That is why I came to you peacefully, begging you to ask your daughter to stay away from my son for me. What is wrong with ah! you? Instead of you to look for a way out of this situation, you're here apportioning blames. What is wrong with you? I... Stop. Joy. Oh, how is he? Is he all right? Calm down, Your Excellency. He will be fine. Due to his weak heart condition, he's still unconscious. But I'm sure in the next one or two hours, he will regain consciousness. Take me to him. No, that won't be necessary for now. He is in safe hands. He needs all the rest he can get. Evelyn. Um, uh, where is Musa? National Security, Musa Bello speaking. I'm sure you've conveyed my message to the presidency. <laughs> Agent Morgan. Retire, please. Retire, Agent Morgan. What is going on here? Your Excellency. That's it. Yes, Your Excellency. It's Morgan. Well, well, well. Uh, Agent Morgan, now tell me, what is the condition of the hostages? Who is this? Identify yourself. This is Mr. President. President Collins. Oh, Mr. President. Good morning, sir. It's so nice to speak with you again. Mr. President, the hostages can die for all I care. What should land with Morgan? Tell us what your demand is. Hey! Who's that? Identify yourself. Agent James, Senior Director, Crime Division. Oh, sure, sir. I remain loyal to you, sir. I'm sorry for what you're seeing on your screen right now. Probably if you're in my shoes, you will do the same. But very soon you will understand why I'm committing this crime. Method of payment, please. I will not repeat myself. I want 30 million US dollars, neatly packed in a briefcase, higher denomination, to be delivered here at the church premises by just one policeman. Secondly, I do not want to see any policemen around the church vicinity. 
within the church compound. I want them to be five kilometers away from the church. Or else, for every policeman that I find within the church premises, or I sense or notice within the church premises, I will kill one soul. And lastly, I hate to be delayed. Your time starts now. Thank you. Cut it off. So, what do we do now? Well, Your Excellency, it's unfortunate that your daughter is the one that is caught up in all of this web. But I want to assure you that we will carry out our responsibilities with absolute dispatch. So, how much time? I'm sure that it's a time limit. I assure you, Your Excellency, it will not be longer than necessary. Are we going to pay the ransom, sir? No. No, my government will never, never encourage such a criminal act, even if my daughter is being used as a medium. This crime must stop. Morgan? Agent Morgan, what does he want? What does he want? Find out whatever he wants and give it to him and let this madness be over. I hate this tension. Whatever he's grieved about. That's too much money he's demanding. Her Excellency. But she must know there are ways to handle terrorists rather than yielding to their demand. We can't possibly give that kind of money to terrorists, madam. Why? Why can't you give them such money? Is it worth the lives of the hostages there? But these things happen. How come your men did not detect them? What I understand is that these guys disguised as priests and went into the hall, so it wouldn't have been possible for anyone to, to, to have noticed them. Look, 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 look. Do whatever you have to do and stop those men and get my daughter out of that hell. Mr. Director, yeah, this is Morgan. That was a good one, right? It was a good substitute for my demand, right? Oh, you're pretending, right? You're pretending you don't know what happened. Well, you sent your men right into my territory and they gunned down one of my men. All right, let's just pretend you're not gonna see what I'll do right now, okay? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, put on your camera. Take every damn thing I'm gonna do now. 
I want you to move your men from there right now. Uh, but your excellency. There are no bots. Move your men and let him stop the killing. She said that we take our men out of that place. This is all I said. Your excellency, this is Musa the line. I want to always demand to be given to me. I'm sorry about this whole situation, but the kind of money they're asking for, Your Excellency, is just too much. It is better to waste money than the lives of the innocent people there. I'm afraid, Your Excellency, giving that kind of money to a terrorist will simply spell doom for this country and put a dent on our image. <sighs> I knew you were going to call. That was just a warning. If I see any other policeman within this premises, I swear more souls will die. Thank you. The lives of many of our citizens hung in the balance, including my daughter, my only daughter. Excellent. Due to some age long policy of non negotiations with terrorists. Your Excellency, I. I understand the very peculiar situation that we find ourselves. Mm. I also understand that, you know, being the president of a country this large demands more than the ordinary. Mm. It, it, it's obvious the kind of burden you're carrying on your shoulders, which is that of collective responsibility. Your Excellency, excuse me. Are we paying the ransom? No. Collins, don't tell me you're going to stand here and watch our daughter die in the hands of those monsters just because your position does not allow you to do your fatherly role. Evelyn. Please, stay away from this. Let me think. Think about what? Collins, the, the point is so clear. They are demanding for ransom. Why has it not yet been paid? 
Don't tell me it's all about the government's policy of not negotiating with terrorists. Is it? Evelyn, there is no other reason. Please let me make it absolutely clear that I shall never encourage or negotiate with terrorists. Never. My daughter is in the middle of all this, Collins. Can't you understand, Collins? Why do you want to sacrifice our only child on the altar of self-pride? Just to come up with political points, why? Look, my dear, you don't understand my position. You see? No. You put my position in that thinking mood of yours when you reconvene for your meeting. Because if anything happens to my daughter, I swear to God, I will. to go to jail, right? You don't know what it means to suffer for what you did not do, do you? You think jail makes people any better? Makes them worse. Makes them brutal. Heartless. That is what you're seeing right now. So you stop fooling yourself and sit your ass down! Morgan, let me go. Let me make sure your demands are met and let me bring it back to this church. Oh. I should let you go. What a wise decision. You think I'm a fool? You still have the president's daughter with you. Please.
you must be thinking you're so wise And then you think I must be blind And so you worry not this guy So I can't see your crimes I need my life back To make it all right It's time to pay up what you stole Because I'm getting really mad now Do you know how it feels like To be weak that you cannot fight back You deny me my right Must have me my life back It's the struggle every day and night All the pains bottled up inside It's a shame you cannot see that You must reap what you sow, man Strike back, strike back, I need my life back, my life back, I got a game plan, because vengeance is mine, I may be nothing but a fool, and you think I may not do, you got the power and the money, so you use me like a tool. All the evil that you do I see them coming after you You can hide all you want to You cannot hide a truth I need my life back To make it alright It's time to pay up what you stole Because I'm getting really mad now how it feels like to be weak that you cannot fight back you deny me my right must have me my life back it's the struggle every day and night all the pains bottled up inside it's a shame you cannot see that you must reap what you sow man you 